So we are now at Infinite Series. So Infinite Series is of the form summation of UK where K goes from 1 to infinity where UK be the term of the series so uh, we can expand this series as U1 plus U2 plus U3 plus up to UK then plus dot 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 since we have uh, infinity here now to evaluate this series so summation uk k goes from 1 to infinity so we can write this as limit n approaches to infinity of the summation uk k goes from 1 to n so first thing is to get the what we call the partial sum of the series so we have the n partial sum and then if we take n approaches to infinity so that gives you the sum of the series so let's say we write it as s so we have some test for convergence and divergence of a infinite series so we have here the divergence test comparison test limit comparison test integral test alternating series test absolute and conditional convergence and the ratio test so for the divergence test so if the limit of uk as k approaches to infinity is not equal to zero or if the limit does not exist the series is divergent so let us take this example so show that the series summation k squared plus 3k plus 1 all over 4k squared plus 3 where k goes from 1 up to infinity diverges so to show that the series is divergent um, we will use the divergence test so let us take the limit k approaches to infinity of this term and do here is to divide the, the terms or the expression in the numerator and the denominator by the highest uh, exponent of the variable k so we have now um, so we will have One plus three over k plus one over k squared over four plus three over k squared. So as k approaches to infinity, these terms would be zero. So hence the result would be one fourth so one fourth is not equal to zero 
So meaning by the divergence test, you can say that so hence this series it's okay uh, k goes from 1 to infinity diverges so next comes the comparison test so given two series of positive terms summation ak and summation bk such that ak is less than or equal to bk for all k element of the positive integers then if summation bk is convergent to a limit s summation ak is also convergent to a limit t where t is less than or equal to s and then summation of ak is divergent so is summation bk okay so let us establish whether or not the series is convergent so to show that the series um, converges consider this inequality so we know that 2 to the k is greater than 0 for all k and uh, 2 to the k plus 3 is greater than 2 to the k for all k so for this statement we can conclude that 1 over 2 to the k plus 3 is less than 1 over 2 to the k for all k element of z plus now observe that summation of 1 over 2 to the k where k goes from 1 to infinity converges So, if this series converges by the comparison test, so by, by comparison test, summation 1 over 2 to the k plus 3, k goes from 1 to infinity, also converges. Next, we have the limit comparison test. So, given two series of positive terms, summation ak and summation bk, where the limit of ak over bk as k approaches to infinity equal to L, which is greater than zero, then if one series converges, so does the other. And if one series diverges, so does the other. So, for example, show that the series summation 1 over 2 to the k minus 1 is convergent so to do that uh, we let ak be 1 over 2 to the k minus 1 and bk be 1 over 2 to the k so then if we get the ratio of ak and bk we will get 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2 to the k and then if we take the limit as k approaches to infinity of ak over bk so this will become zero so we have one over one or simply one so by 
by the limit comparison test so by the limit comparison test so the summation 1 over 2 to the k minus 1 k goes from 1 up to infinity converges so we are now at integral test so given a positive decreasing function f of x where x be greater than or equal to 1 if the integral of f of x dx from 1 to infinity is so convergent then summation of f of k is convergent and divergent then summation of f of k is divergent so for example show that the series 1 over k squared converges so to show that the series is convergent so let us evaluate this integral so we will have so we can write this as x to the negative 2 dx and then we will have x to the negative 1 over negative 1 so evaluated from 1 to infinity so we will have limit b approaches to infinity of 1 over x so that is negative and then plus 1 So as we can see, uh, the value of this is 0, so we have 0 plus 1, which is 1. So since this integral has a finite value, so by definition of the integral test, so therefore, we can say that summation k squared 1 over k squared where k goes from 1 up to infinity converges so we have the alternating series test so if for an alternating series summation uk so, if the absolute value of uk plus 1 is less than the absolute value of uk for sufficiently large k, and if we take the limit of the absolute value of uk as k approaches to infinity equal to 0, then we can say that the series is convergent. Okay, so for example, determine whether this series is convergent. Okay, so let's have the alternating series test. So let us first satisfy the first condition in the alternating series test. So we must first have absolute value of uk plus 1 less than absolute value of uk for sufficiently large k. So our uk would be 1 over k. So meaning absolute value of uk would be 1 over k. And then uk plus 1, we have 1 over k plus 1. So absolute value of uk plus 1 is simply 1 over k k plus 1. So clearly 1 over k plus 1 is less than 1 over k. So this implies that the absolute value of uk plus 1 is less than the absolute value of uk. So the first condition was satisfied. Now, 
for the second condition we must check that the limit of the absolute value of uk where k goes to infinity would be zero so let us check so let's take the limit of 1 over k as k approaches to infinity so clearly the answer for this limit is just 0 hence the second um, assumption was again satisfied so we may say so therefore uh, by the alternating series test so the series uh, converges so now we go to absolute and conditional convergence so a series is absolutely convergent if the series summation absolute value of uk is convergent if a series summation of uk is convergent but the summation of absolute value of uk is divergent then we may say that the series is conditionally convergent now if a series is absolutely convergent then it is convergent that is if the summation absolute value of uk is convergent then so is summation of uk so for example show that the summation of sine k over k squared where k goes from 1 up to infinity is convergent okay so to do that uh, let us consider uh, uk which is sine k over k squared now if we take the absolute value of uk so we have the same expression and then observe that sine k over k squared is less than or equal to 1 over k squared and then by this statement we can conclude by a comparison test summation of sine k over k squared k equal to 1 to infinity is uh, convergent now if we take the absolute value of the expression it is uh, it is also conver convergent so we may say that this series is absolutely absolutely convergent so absolutely convergent for the last topic we have the ratio test so given a series summation of uk if number one the limit of the ratio of uk plus one all over uk so you take the absolute value as k approaches to infinity less than one then we may say that the series is absolutely convergent now if we take the limit of the ratio of uk plus 1 all over uk the absolute value as k approaches to infinity 
and it is greater than 1, we may say that the series is divergent. And lastly, if we take the ratio of UK plus 1 all over UK absolute value as K approaches to infinity, uh, if it is equal to 1, then the ratio test is inconclusive. So, for example, test the series summation of 2K factorial all over K factorial squared where K goes from 1 up to infinity, whether it is absolutely convergent or not. Okay, so to do the ratio, the ratio test, we need uh, UK and UK plus 1. So in the given, we have 2K factorial all over K factorial squared. So UK plus 1 would be 2 times k plus 1 factorial divided by k plus 1 factorial squared. So if we get the ratio of this, uk plus 1 all over uk, so this would be 4 4k squared plus 6k plus 2 all over k squared plus 2k plus 1. So applying the limit as k approaches to infinity of the absolute value of the ratio of k, u, uk plus 1 all over uk so this gives you 4. Now, applying the ratio test, 4 is greater than 1. So 4 is greater than 1. It means that uh, by, by ratio test, so the series 2k factorial all over k factorial squared k goes from 1 up to infinity diverges